All right, how's everyone doing? It's Eric from Fun Intelligent Training. So, head and camping this weekend. Um, this is going to be a very, very close uh, representation of what I plan to bring on the Fit Adventure weekend next weekend, where we're going to be uh, rafting, skydiving, and then hiking Mount Katahdin. So, this will give you guys an idea, and I'll I'll shoot out a spreadsheet too. So in addition to, to what I'm going to wear up, which will be shorts, those sandals, underwear, and a t-shirt, um, I've got a pair of Gore-Tex Gore Trail Runners, so they're waterproof, uh, they're really light, so I'm actually going to hike in these. If you have a really heavy pack, you're definitely going to want something more substantial, but for me, I'd rather have them light. Uh, one pair of pants, these are water resistant, they're not going to be waterproof, but in light precipitation for half an hour or 45 minutes, they, they do a great job. Uh, three t-shirts, uh, kind of wicking material, polyester. One extra pair of shorts, one pair of swim trunks. Uh, two pairs of quarter socks, ankle socks, and, and one pair of uh, tall crew socks. These make a big difference at night if it gets cold. Uh, those, the pants, and uh, a pair of long underwear. So this time of year, probably not necessary, but you never know. It's very lightweight and uh, makes a huge difference if it does get cold. One long sleeve shirt, once again, uh, wicking. Two extra pairs of underwear. Uh, waterproof hat, so Gore-Tex hat. Gore-Tex jacket. So, I mean, this stuff, I'm a, I'm a bargain hunter. I get everything uh, for good price. You don't have to have the, you know, the real high-end stuff. Most, uh, most anything waterproof and breathable will work. Uh, camera equipment here. Here. And then I kind of try to consolidate all my little things in there. Uh, toiletries, so I don't have my uh, my glasses out out here because those are on. So my glasses and contacts will be in the mix. Just a little kind of emergency stash kit that that I bring out with me. Um, extra duffel bag, just a little you know folding duffel bag, um, like a chamois cloth sort of towel. Lantern, mini lantern you can hang in your tent or set on a table. Headlamp, uh, Leatherman tripod. This is a waterproof bag, so not so much that you'd want to bring in the river, but to be inside your backpack if it's raining. Um, so I use it so I can actually, uh, when we're base camping, uh, pull that right out of my backpack, leave it in the tent, and then use my pack for uh, wherever we happen to be going. Uh, sunglasses portable water bottle backpack so that's pretty much all my personal effects um, and so when I start showing you this other stuff realize that we are car camping this is like a vacation for us so we we live it up pretty big uh, this is about as compact as I can get this quote-unquote luxurious roughing it to be um, so I try to compartmentalize everything so we get a big you know Rubbermaid type of bin there um, this is an expandable trash bin so just put trash bags in it and you're good to go. Uh, bug spray, sunscreen, duct tape, air mattress, tent, frisbee, uh, foot pressure go underneath your tent. Very, very good plan. And sleeping bags, a little bit of extra rope. This thing I try to keep pretty much all of our cookware, anything to do with uh, fire and then dry goods of all our foods is all in here. Um, so this here, I believe, is all the the dry foods that don't need to be refrigerated this is like tiki torch fuel and candles to keep bugs away and fire starting stuff a pair of work gloves real you know lightweight work gloves in case you gotta mess with the fire and then this is all the cookware in here uh, we're bringing two bikes up I got one up front I need to bring it in for the night um, and then this is a two foot by four foot table two folding chairs a tarp when we go on the trip, I'll bring it easy up, but this site apparently is pretty small, so it's not worth it. Bunch of water, some iced tea, and the little stove. So this is a uh, lion's share of what I'm bringing. I'll bring you over and show you a little bit of how I pack the food. So all the refrigerator stuff is, is in the fridge in um, plastic shopping bags, so we can just grab the bags, toss them in the cooler in the morning and go. But taking salad dressings, putting them in, sorry, the lighting's horrible in here. Putting them in little tiny, uh, you know, kind of Tupperware, Rubbermaid sort of thing saves a bunch of space. 
Um, same thing here. I got peanut butter. You know, instead of bringing a big jar of peanut butter, I put it in a little, probably six or so ounce thing. Um, and then this cooler. So that's pretty much everything we're going to bring with us. Should fit very, very easily in the back of the Pathfinder. I actually, now that I have it all put together, I'm curious to see if I can get it with the seats up. I'm not sure if I can or not. So that should give you a good idea about what to bring. I hope everyone's having a great 4th of July. And uh, see you soon. All right, so this uh, dry sack, the liner, I'm putting in first to pack. And here's another little trick. Roll your clothing. Um, it, so this is actually what I'm going to wear up there tomorrow. So roll your clothing up. And then it does a couple things. Number one, they stay somewhat wrinkle-free, significantly so in comparison to stuffing or folding. Uh, number two, they're actually very compact. And number three, when you load it this way, it's easier to, to see what you're looking at and pull it straight out versus having to dig, undo everything, and then pull something out from the bottom. So uh, just another little trick as far as packing goes.